glorious Father, you bless me with your light. Oh, glorious Father, you bless me with your light. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your light. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your light. Oh, Sacred Mother, you bless me with your strength. Oh, Sacred Mother, you bless me with your strength. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your strength. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your strength. Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love by my friend Alexa Sunshine Rose Oh glorious Father you bless me with your light Oh glorious Father you bless me with your light In the center of my soul you bless me with your light In the center of my soul you bless me with your light Oh sacred mother you bless me with your strength Oh sacred mother you bless me with your strength In the center of my soul you bless me with your strength In the center of my soul you bless me with your strength Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. Holy child, you bless me with your love. Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. Welcome, everybody. This is Gaelic. Toki mi shantula Marahokak Mura Toki mi shantula Marahokak Mura Kaim vricha es fura Saren tula saren lar Saren arti hula Saren tuel hula Amen Welcome everybody to Spirit and Song as we invoke sacred space, I'd like to do a land acknowledgement. I am on Abenaki land here in Turtle Island. Where I live is nowadays called Vermont. I'd like to acknowledge the ancestors and um, take a moment to think about the needs of all people on this land, but especially my indigenous brothers and sisters, the Abenaki people. Oh, 
Welcome to Spirit in Song, where we explore the sacred through song, poetic prayers, and deep listening. Please write into the chat where you are joining us from. My name is Reverend Simon Ruth DeVoyle, and I am an interfaith, interspiritual minister, born and raised in Scotland and currently living in the Green Mountains in Vermont. Whatever faith tradition you do or do not hold, you are welcome here, whether you're part of One Spirit alumni or staff or students, or whether you are just someone else that has come here, you're very welcome. I'd like to say that in Spirit and Song, the first gathering of every month, um, there will be times when uh, I invite the group gathered here to come up and, sh and speak. And two things I'd like to say about this. Uh, one is that uh, this recording will go up on YouTube later, so you have to be willing to, be, uh, to have what you share be posted publicly. And secondly, um, I like to draw inspiration from the Quakers who break the silence and speak from the heart and not the head. Today, I've gathered songs and fascinating little items linked with Imbolc and Bridget, because in my tradition, in the Celtic year, we're standing right on the threshold of Imbolc. Imbolc is that time halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. In bulk, the word comes from the milk coming into the ewes because it's the time that the first lambs are born. Now, before we jump in with an opening prayer, I, I need to share some images of Bridget with you because uh, if, you, if you've not met her before, um, this will help you understand what comes next. I love these pictures of Bridget by artist Helen Mask. Now Bridget um, began her life as a pagan goddess. Her name is the Shining One, and she ended up as a Christian saint associated with poetry, healing, smith smithcraft, especially silversmithing, midwifery, milking and cattle, beer, infants, fugitives, mariners, and many more. I love these images because um, a lot of the saint portrayals of Bridget, um, she doesn't look very animate. And Bridget is like a human face to the season of spring. Um, one of the things you need to know before I read this opening poem prayer um, is that the fairy side of Bridget, everybody claims Bridget as their own, this goddess, this saint, and um, there's a fairy side to her too. And in that fairy side, her son was killed and she invented keening, keening that uh, Scottish and Irish way of singing lament where you express your grief. And sometimes still in Ireland, I'm told, um, they hire women to come and keen at the, the bedside of uh, the dead person at the wake or at the funeral, at the burial to help the mourners release their grief into the earth. So I'm going to read uh, a poem by Hecate Demeter. She is a person that has a WordPress site, a blog, and she describes herself as a woman, a witch, a mother, a grandmother, an eco-feminist, a lawyer, a gardener, a reader, a writer, and a priestess of the great Mother Earth. And this is her poem that she released called This is a Prayer for Imbolc, This is a Prayer of Resistance. This is a prayer for Imbolc. This is a prayer for when roads flood. This is a prayer for the lingering dark. This is a prayer for resistance. We spark the fire to beg the light to return, but we never really know if it will work. The road may flood. This could be the year that it all falls apart. The February rains may be too much. We fire up the forge to bend hard metal to our will, but we never really know if it will work. The road may flood. 
This could be the year that it all falls apart. The February rains may be too much. We write the poem to express what's inside, but we never really know if it will work. The road may flood. This could be the year that it all falls apart. The February rains may be too much. Imbolc is a chance we take, a chance we take in the dark. And this is the prayer for when things fall apart. This is the prayer for when roads flood. This is the prayer for Imbolc. This is the prayer for the lim lingering dark. And this is a prayer of resistance. Bridget, the goddess of poetry, invented keening for those times when no words were enough. Shall we now keen? Bridget, the goddess of smithcraft, invented forges for those times when small flames were not enough. What shall we now forge? Bridget, the goddess of healing, invented beer for those times when water couldn't cure the deep thirst. What shall we now toast? Bridget stands in the February rain, a warm flame in her hand, watching the roads flood. She will neither look away from the flood nor extinguish the flame. In bulk is a chance we take, a chance we take in the dark. This is a prayer for when things fall apart. This is a prayer for when roads flood. This is a prayer for in bulk. This is a prayer for the lingering dark, and this is a prayer for resistance. The shepherd goes out despite the rain. The shepherd is the resistance. Without the shepherd, the ewe will miscarry, die in the mud, bleed to death, deliver the lamb kin still. The shepherd sees the rain, throws on her cloak and cuts through the meadow. But she never knows for sure that it will work. The road may flood. This could be the year that it all falls apart. The February rains may be too much. But she still wades through towards the yew. Bridget sees and holds her flame. In bulk is a chance we take, a chance we take in the dark. This is the prayer for when things fall apart. This is the prayer for when roads flood. This is the prayer for in bulk. This is the prayer for the lingering dark. And this is a prayer for resistance. It's in bulk. It's pouring rain in the lingering dark. The roads have washed away. The ewes are miscarrying. The forge fires going out. The poets are throwing down their pens. The yeast has failed the hops. Who are you in these times? What is Imbolc to you and you to her? Resistance thrives in the lingering dark. And flash floods bring forth new paths. Put on your cloak and wade through the mud. The goddess Bridget is holding her flame. The goddess watches and weighs. In bulk is a chance we take, a chance we take in the dark. This is a prayer for when things fall apart. This is a prayer for when roads flood. This is a prayer for in bulk. This is a prayer for the lingering dark. And this is a prayer for resistance. Let's move into song. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. 
Within our darkest night, you can dull a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you can dull a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night. You can dull a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you can dull a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you can dull a fire that never dies away. Our darkest night, you can know the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you can know the fire that never dies away, never dies away. So, Bridget is very, very important to me, and this time, which is her feast day in the Christian tradition, and rituals associated with blessing of candles and the recognition of the light in the world. That's what the candle mass Christian tradition is about, but、um, it lands right in the heart of the goddess Bridget's. Bridget time in the Celtic world. This is the time that the first snowdrops come up, or if it was a human that was、um, a woman was birthing the new life. This is the first time that she feels the baby kick. That this is the quickening of the year. The promise of the light is brought back to us, but there's still snow outside, <laughs> and there's a long way to go. But that、uh, the It's a very important time, and two of the things associated with Bridget. Usually, in one hand, she's holding that flame. I wonder if I can get that.、Oh, yeah, there we go. And in the other hand, she's usually holding a bowl of water, the healing waters. And Bridget is very much associated with healing, and especially healing waters. There's、uh, wells all over Ireland attributed to her, and in Scotland too, and on the island I used to live in the Hebrides, which islands of Bridget. Hebrides in Scotland,、uh, we have a Bridget Well too, which is called the Well of Eternal Youth. So I've chosen a chant for us to engage with this.、Uh, this one's by my friend Alexa Sunshine Rose. And that scene that you're seeing there is pretty much what it looks like here right now. Mother of the water, mother of us all. Dreams of new beginnings, streams and waterfalls. Mother of the water, mother of us all. Dreams of new beginnings, flowing over all. Mother of the water. Mother of us all, dreams of new beginnings, streams and waterfalls. Mother of the water, mother of us all, dreams of new beginnings, flowing over all. Mother of the water, mother of us all, dreams of new beginnings, streams and waterfalls. Mother of the water, mother of us all, dreams of new beginnings. Flowing over all.
So Bridget is both sacred fire and sacred water. There's no mistake there. Bridget is a, uh, a person who is yes and, or neither this nor that, what we call the betwixt in the between in the Celtic tradition. That uh, twilight moment, twilight meaning two lights. And um, I used to always think of it in my upbringing as neither this nor that. But then I went to One Spirit and uh, joined the seminary program and I realized it's yes and, yes and. Thank you, Diane, for that piece of wisdom. So Bridget brings within herself heaven and earth. She is both druid and Christian, depending on who you are when you look at her. And probably in the life of uh, Bridget of Kildare, who was, I think, born around the year 450, um, she lived in a Druid world and the Christian message was just arriving in Ireland, and she was both. She was in Kildare, which means Church of the Oaks, and the Druids are the, the knowers of the Oaks. So whenever you hear anything to do with an oak, you know that there's Druids around. One of the things that happens in Bridget is this outpouring, outpouring of light or compassion or healing. And it's to the, in the goddess form, it's to the land. It's, she brings uh, the new season, the new growing year, and, and it's compassion to the creatures and the people who are dependent on the crops. In the goddess form, it's often compassion to the animals and the poor and the giving away of butter or bacon and the things magically reappear. She's somebody who uh, is this pouring out. So I've chosen a song that helps us enter into this energy. This one's really simple. The only words are Open My Heart. It's by Ana Hernandez. And it's around, <laughs> but you're all muted. Um, so I'm just going to have to imagine your voices, and if I shift parts, you can continue singing the other parts, and you might have a little harmony. And if you're not a singer, please just join in, sing with your heart. Oh, open my heart, oh, open my heart. Oh, open my heart, open my heart, oh, open my heart, oh, open my heart, oh, open my heart, open my heart, oh, open my heart. I'd like to tell you about uh, Bridget is that um, she's associated with um, all sorts of spiritual practices that are very homely and down to earth. They're the equivalent of um, folk music, right? <laughs> Spirituality is music. Uh, the practices to Bridget are very much with the people. They're about milking and cattle and fires. And I've got some examples here. I've got, uh, first of all, I'm warning you, this next one's a bit silly. Um, it's me gathering in my blankets um mm, where is it ah 
Yeah, so it's traditional that um, on Imbolc Eve, which was Monday, um, you hang cluti, cloth, or blankets, or shawls. Uh, Bridget is really well known for her prayer shawl. That um, There's lots of healings associated with this blue shawl. She's the Mary of the Great Gale, so she has the same colours as Mother Mary. And um, that I'm trying to get to that blue shawl there, which uh, I'd just been sent that morning, <laughs> or the day before, when I hung up in the tree. And um, I was worried I was going to ruin it, but I didn't. So this is one of the spiritual practices we do in our house, which is we put our uh, scarves and our meditation shawls. That, that blue one there was made by my congregation I was serving. And uh, we place them in the tree to receive from the elements. Remember, Bridget is this face of spring. So upon the dew and the wind is her healing blessing. Brat Bridget Ort is one of the things you say. May the blessing of Bridget's shawl be upon you. So that's, uh, you know, it's a very uh, down-to-earth spiritual practice. Here's another one. Uh, I found this one on YouTube. I'll uh, put, While you're watching it, I'll post it. Uh, this one is actually in real time. I just speeded it up so you could see the process. But uh, I love to make Bridget's crosses from the rushes. I'm posting this video into the chat there so you can find it later. Um, I can't do that here because I'm in Vermont and there's a foot and a half of snow. But... Um, a lot of the spiritual practices are, as I said, are very um, much of the people and, and the elements and the earth and to do with um, blessing um, hearts and fires. And um, there's a lot of fire keeping rituals, um, especially by women. So I, um, I love spiritual practices that are very much with the people. Um, they say that just like in the Jewish tradition, when the temple was destroyed, and the Jewish people took the rituals into their homes, Shabbat. They think that when the Celtic monks, when that, that era ended, that the people continued on the practices. And a lot of the prayers that we get that were handed down are very much from the people who lived really close to the earth. It's very interesting. So um, if you're interested in some folky spiritual practices, check out Bridget, either version, saint version or goddess version. You'll find the same rituals. So Bridget is a threshold keeper. And as I said, in, in the Northern Hemisphere at this moment in time, she's standing with one foot cl closer to the winter solstice and the other one with the spring equinox. It's the very beginning, the quickening of spring. But everything about Bridget is a threshold keep to do with the thresholds. It is said that um, her father, Duach was a chieftain. I probably pronounced that wrong. <laughs> Don't quote me on it. He was a chieftain and he had a slave, a Pictic slave called Broca, and he got her pregnant. And his wife was not very happy about this and got rid of Broca, who was now pregnant and sold into slavery. So, um, and then Bridget, when she's 12, wins the favor of the king um, and becomes a free person. So she's slave and free, druid and Christian. Um, she was born at the very end of the night, when it wasn't quite morning, when the two lights, the twilights, were in the sky, and her mother was straddling the threshold, and she was born on the threshold. So she was neither within nor without the house. She's a very important saint for anybody drawn to interspiritual. And uh, she took the spirituality into herself, and uh, it outflowed as healing and compassion. So I've got a wee song for us on this one. This one's Sanskrit, which actually they say, I, I only learned this recently, that Gaelic, uh, Gaelic is very influenced by Sanskrit. This is by uh, an Australian guy, Kevin James. And the Sanskrit is Hami Hum Brahm Hum. We are we and we are one 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 Hum me hum from hum hum me hum from hum hum me hum 
So there's an important thing I'd like you to know about Bridget. Maybe I'll take my guitar off for this. So at Kildare, which was the Church of the Oaks, um, the Druids say that Bridget was the head of the Druid order there. We do know that in Ireland there were male and female leaders and uh, Bridget was ordained as a bishop, and the Roman Church did a lot to try and stop <laughs> the woman leadership within Christianity. Like they had to outlaw women from presiding over mass. Anyway, I'm getting into stuff that's not relevant to where I want us to go today on in bulk in 2022. So Bridget, whether she was the chief druid, or whether she founded a monastery. Uh, two monasteries actually, one for men and one for women. She asked her friend who was a hermit to be the abbot of the male order and she was the abbess of the female order. But it was her nuns that were the keepers of the eternal flame which the Druids had had before. And that flame uh, kept, was kept in perpetual uh, existence for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years until the Reformation in the 16th century when the Protestants put out the flame. Now what I want you to know is that the Bridget flame was relit in 1993 and there's a sister, a community of sisters called the Brigadines that tend that flame 24 hours a day and there's all sorts of rituals to do with uh, the light being taken all over the world. I am not lucky enough to have a candle yet from Brig the Brigadine Sisters, but I hope to one day so that I can share that light in my own rituals. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because Bridget, um, for me, really came alive as I got um, quite distressed about uh, living in North America, living on Turtle Island and the racism and the genocide and the slavery. Remember, Bridget is the earth. She is the seasons as well as this compassionate force. So I shouldn't have been surprised when God brought to me in song the healing and the wisdom of this threshold keeper to help me stay open, to help me begin to um, bring my living clay to the land here that has trauma in it, as well as beauty and health and vitality. It all gets soaked up into the land and sometimes it sprouts up as song. And this is the song that was given to me. So it's my version of a song called Beloved Bridget. It's an Irish melody that was in Gaelic. I don't speak Gaelic. Um, so I rewrote what I heard in the song. It's a song about colonization in Ireland. Um, I rewrote it into my own life. And um, there's a story about Bridget that she wept 
for the terrible things that men and women did to one another. And where her tears soaked into the earth, it became very fertile. And a fruit tree grew. And years later, the fruit of that tree brought healing to the people that needed it. So we're going to enter into the song and then uh, invite us to go into a little time of silence, about three minutes. I'll bring us out and then we'll open up uh, with some more chant, but also a little bit of discussion. Enjoy. Beloved maiden, sweet Bridget, you are the spring and new life for this world. Men may defile you, women may banish you, but you cannot be removed from the soil.
still and know that I am loved Be still and know that I am Be still and know that I still and know that be still and know be still and be still I'm wondering if there's anything about Bridget that's been stirring that um, you've heard. If there's anything in your heart wisdom that you would like to share with the community of people who are gathered. Patricia. Thank you. Uh, what I want to share is that um, what is stirring up for me is this idea of... Um, Patience, being in a very difficult time, knowing that there is something um, beautiful and replenishing that is coming, but having the patience to wait for it and then just sort of hanging out in the middle. <laughs> That's what's coming up for me. Thank you. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very apt for the season. Uh-huh. Diane. I think what what really um, resonated for me, Simon, was was what you shared about um, Bridget weeping for seeing the way human beings were treating one another. And it made me realize how it's it's so easy these days to become angry about the things we see and mm -hmm. yet underneath that really is just an incredible sense of heartbreak for how human beings can treat one another so the the reminder to um, to weep rather than get lost in anger mm -hmm. that's really come into the forefront this in bulk for me as well diane because of thinking about I, I didn't know that there were fairy stories about bridget of course there would be um, sorry about that and um in that tradition her son was killed and she that's when she um invented keening as a way of expressing that unbearable this is my dog Freya and Freya also is the she's the goddess in Norse mythology who's the equivalent of Bridget <laughs> but um, there's an aspect um, of Bridget which for me is Kintsugi and I almost brought in a bunch of songs to do with Kintsugi Golden Joinery, but I thought, no, I actually want to save that for a different gathering. But that there is, there's something about um, our tears that's bigger than the wounded healer, that is actually a pouring into the earth that brings healing for future generations in a very profound way. Well, my dog is barking. Would anybody else like to share? Yeah. 
Megan. Hmm. I love your dog and thank you. Um, I did not know what the theme of tonight's gathering was. Well, clearly I did, but I felt called to bring this with me to our, our song and prayer time together, which is a candle from the Brigadine sisters in Kildare that I had the pleasure of getting on my last trip to Ireland. So this just wanted to be shared with all of you and um, yeah, so grateful for the magic that's being woven here. Thank you. That is, oh, that is so special. Thank you. Yeah. So before we, oh, Rebecca, hello. I am more familiar with the Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. So I certainly know of the goddess of the hearth and the goddess of the hunt the goddess of knowledge. Um, I think it's really beautiful that there's a goddess of liminal spaces or liminal places because so often we find ourselves in these transitional places in our lives. And just uh, this idea about standing in the doorway, standing in the liminal place um, for me will be, um, quite different now that I know about St. Bridget, particularly because of my Celtic background too. So, you know, it, it's really wonderful for me to learn more about this. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for saying that. You know, there's the, the posture associated with Bridget is kneeling or squatting, right? So there's all this milking stuff, but there's also the midwifing, the doulaing. And I, I, when I was at seminary, many of my classmates, I don't, you probably remember this, Rebecca, because you were in that class, many of them were doulas, death doulas and birth doulas. And um, the we have placed... Bridget into the Christ story. I didn't have time to go into that tonight, tonight but the, our legend in Scotland is that she was whisked away by the angels to be uh, the midwife or wet nurse for the Christ child. And one of the gifts that uh, Bridget gives me is a, a reminder that um, uh, there is help there, <laughs> that our job is to be the doula of the change. You know, we don't have to create it all in ourselves. The seasons are there. The healing flows out. Mother Earth knows what she's doing and that there is support with us in uh, doulaing in the change, the new, the healing, the tears. Mm -hmm. So is there anybody else that wants to share? Because I've got a, a chant lined up, but there's definitely time. Mm. So Bridget and compassion. So much of her is about compassion. So I've chosen a few songs about that. This one's uh, got snowdrops because the, um, the legend is that where she walked, the snowdrops, snowdrops pushed up. And this comes from Tazy. Um, so the Latin, if you are up for singing Latin, goes like this. Confiteni mi domino, quo niam bonus. Confiteni mi domino, hallelujah. Confiteni mi domino, quo ni Bonus, confiteni mi domino, alleluia. And I sing it like this in English. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You and all your world are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace, alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You and all your world are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Hallelujah. In Latin. Confiteni mi domino. Coniam bonus. Confiteni mi domino. Hallelujah. Confiteni mi domino. 
poniam bonus confiteni mi domino alleluia come and fill our hearts with your peace you and all your world are holy come and fill our hearts with your peace alleluia come and fill our hearts with your peace You and all your world are holy Come and fill our hearts with your peace Hallelujah And one more which is May we um, pour out our spiritual practice and our faith Into the world around us This is a song by Karen Drucker You are the heart, you are the hands, you are the voice of spirit on earth. And who you are, and all you do is a blessing to the world. You are the heart, you are the hands, you are the voice of spirit on earth. And who you are And all you do Is a blessing to the world We We are the heart We are the hands We are the voice Of spirit on earth And who we are And all we do Is a blessing to the world We are the heart We are the hands, we are the voice of spirit on earth And who we are, and all we do is a blessing to the world I am the heart, I am the hands, I am the voice of spirit on earth And who I am, and all I do is a blessing to the world I am the heart I am the hands I am the voice of spirit on earth and who I am and all I do is a blessing to the world may I be a blessing to this world invite us now to enter into a time of prayer. I've got a Celtic Lorica here. Celtic Lorica is a circling blessing in earth-based cultures all over the place. They'll uh, call in the directions um, and place the sacred in and all around them. In the Gaelic language, there's a lot of repetition of the words. It's really beautiful. And uh, this is uh, a modern setting of a Celtic Christian prayer. So I invite you to to bring into your heart center the prayers for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones, and I'll uh, sing the lyric around us, and then um, invite us to type that into the chat. Settle into your body. Maybe drop down your mind into your heart center. Become aware of your breath. The earth beneath you. The sacred earth underneath the building where you are. the life that lives around you. And bring 
bring to mind the people, situations, and places that you would like us to hold together in prayer. Love with you, love before you, love behind you, love in you, love beneath you, love Above you, love on your right, love on your left, love when you lie down, love when you arise, love when you take rest, love to shield you. If you would like to write your prayer into the chat, you're welcome to. Peace with you, peace before you, peace behind you, peace in you, peace beneath you, peace above you, peace on your right, peace on your left, peace when you lie down, peace when you arise, peace when you take rest, peace to shield you. And last time I sing it through, I'll sing it with light, but we'll send specifically Bridget's light. Light with you, light before you, light behind you, light in you, light beneath you, light above you, light on your right, light on your left. Light when you lie down, light when you arise, light when you take rest, and the light to shield you. We release prayers for Tommy, Amanda, Stephen, Peter, Beatrice. Prayers for Patricia, for the people of Ukraine, for Hani and Jackie. We release our prayers into the mystery, knowing that they are not problems to be solved, but pieces of the sacred to be woven into the tapestry of the whole. And we know that all prayers are answered, whether we see it or not. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for your prayers. I'm going to close with um, a prayer that um, comes from a book of a thousand prayers and um, we'll send out the, the, the light together at, um, at the end of the prayer. So we'll send that out to those that need it this day, especially those who have nobody to pray for them by name. I'm going to use the word Lord, but you're welcome to translate that um, I think really sacred witness would be great, but it doesn't go into the meter. So if you don't like the word Lord, maybe substitute it for love. Lord of our darkest place, let in your light. Lord of our greatest fear, let in your peace. Lord of our most bitter shame, let in your word of grace. Lord of our oldest grudge, let in your forgiveness. 
Lord of our deepest anger, let it out. Lord of our loneliest moment, let in your presence. Lord of the truest all, let in your wholeness. Are you ready? I'm going to sing us out and ask David to spotlight people. If you don't want to be spotlight, quick, turn your camera off now. <laughs> and I have one more beautiful wee song for us. This is by Melanie Damore. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you. I'm sending you light to hold you in love I am sending you light to heal you to hold you I'm sending you light to hold you in love I am sending you light to heal you to hold you I'm sending you light I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you. I'm sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you. I'm sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light. To heal you, to hold you, I'm sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you, I'm sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light. To heal you, to hold you, I'm sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you, I'm sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light to heal you. To hold you, I'm sending you light to hold you in love. And I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you, I'm sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you, I'm sending sending you light to heal you to hold you I'm sending you light to hold you in love no matter where you go no matter where you've been you'll never walk alone I feel you deep within and I am sending you light to heal you to hold you, sending you light to hold.